courage. It's it is about being brave. I have a I have a, a personal target, and it's sixty two billion pounds. Cheerfully, I could have thrown the towel in and said, you know, I'm giving up. It's too hard. Thank you for having the air in my lungs. Thank you for the world around me. Thank you for this beautiful sunny day. Where am I at? Okay, let's look at some new goals, some new vision. What now do I need to achieve? I've got a wonderful family, I have a wonderful home, and my life is only improving, and it improves every single day. Of all the challenges I went through years ago, the one that created the greatest fear and the biggest stress was lack of money. That awful feeling of not being able to have enough money to pay my bills and feed my children. I remember it all so well, that robbing Peter to pay Paul, juggling money around from one account to the other. And I remember vividly one day, I suddenly realised I'd hit my limits on every single bank account I had. I was up to the limit on my overdrafts, the business accounts, the personal accounts, the credit cards, and I, I literally could not get my hands on a single penny. And I was so scared, people were ringing up the whole time, chasing me for money, and that fear was so all-consuming. And that day, I realised I had just 10 pounds left in my purse and I had no idea where the next penny was going to come from. And I can remember still what I was wearing, where I was sitting that day, I realised that reality hit me. And I thought, my God, what am I going to do? And I remember vividly putting five pounds worth of petrol in my car. I bought some sausages and potatoes for the kids' tea. And I've got to be honest, I had to spend the last few pounds on a bottle of wine for me. I mean, that's where I got to. So all-consuming. I had the bank about to repossess my home and following my marriage breakdown, I got left with enormous debt and I had to face all this alone. I'm going to explain to you the purpose of money and exactly what money is. I'm going to explain to you why your thoughts, feelings and beliefs are so powerful when it comes to money. And I'm going to help you identify your beliefs that are holding you back, your programming around money. I'm going to share with you a powerful technique that will help you release your old beliefs and old programming around money and you're going to discover powerful new ways to enable you to have a different mindset around money and therefore achieve a positive outcome. <laughs>